Arab case here and in this series of tutorials I'm gonna be talking about the basics of DaVinci Resolve 15 since DaVinci Resolve is now pretty much a standalone program for visual effects audio and editing I'm gonna be covering it for a new users especially that since Blackmagic Pocket uh, 4k camera gonna be coming with the software I know there's a lot of people gonna be getting into DaVinci Resolve so in this series we're gonna be going from very basic to more advanced like tools and a little bit of motion tracking so it's not going to be complete advanced tutorials it's going to be basic to intermediate and in this particular tutorial i'm going to show you the very basic step how to load footage inside davinci resolve so let's jump in really quick and i'm going to show you how to do this davinci resolve open over here and this is the very first screen you're probably going to see so go to the media panel and on your left you're going to see a lot of different folders that you can assign manually if you have a specific hard drive or folder that you want to add over here, just right click and you can add new location. For the sake of this tutorial, I have a file on the desktop, that way it's going to be easier and without any headache, blah blah blah. Anyways, so here's my little shot that I have. And if you're going to drag it into the media pool, it's going to ask you if you want to change the frame rate of the current project. Since it's only one file, depending on what you do exactly, I'm just going to change it. It's no big deal. <clears throat> but in certain situations, you don't want to change it depending, like I said, on the project that you have. So there's a multiple ways to add your clip or clips into the timeline. One of the easiest way is you just hold it and you drag it. And it's going to create automatically a new timeline. But if I'm going to go back, we can actually use a shortcut. And the shortcut, if you're going to go to the file, is control N. So if I'm going to click control N, it's going to ask me if I want empty timeline or not. If I have this selected and I'm going to click create, it's just going to create the timeline without actually adding any video files. If I'm going to go back again, and this time I'm going to use the shortcut control N, <clears throat> I'm going to uncheck this empty timeline. And if I do that, all your clips from the media pool will automatically be added to the timeline. So we're going to click create. And there we have it. So we have the very first clip added into the timeline. And when we want to start color grading, we're just going to go into the color panel. And here we have it. So thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I'm going to start covering different tools inside the Venture Resolve in the following tutorials. So stay tuned.